Okay, my friends, this is Astrum, and they're going, what Rosetta Fillet discovered on a visitor from the edge of the solar system. This is Comet 67P, churyankov yaromesikol And the e e European Space Agency went up there, and they drew a, land a lander on there. And I followed this thing very, very closely. And it is biology. And I will show you that it is biology. And I will show you that space is filled with the gases that smell just like steak. Look it up. Astronauts say it smells just like steak. Nice roast beef or a sirloin perhaps. Now, let's look a little deeper into this because it's not understood what these visitors from outer space are. I understand it, but they don't. First of all, before we get too far, this is the size of this thing. Now, that's the ball. I think it could have been an ankle. I'm not sure, but this is the anchor part. And then there's a neck with the tendons. All this is debris that's just sort of eroded off the blood. And I, I don't know, maybe a bone was sticking out of there. But this is Raleigh, Raleigh, North Carolina. And that's the size of this thing. Now, look at this. This is the comas coming out. Now, this goes back to 2015. And again, I study this very carefully. I have all the spectral analysis of the two particles, Kenneth and Juliet, that they tested and all that stuff. You see this huge blast out of here? You know what that's from? There's an artery here. That's blood. That's blood burning and boiling off. And it had, and they, they tested all of the vapor from it, and that's exactly what they say. It's biological. They can't account for it. I count it's blood. And that's the artery, so it's huge. These, all these little bitty ones are blood vessels, little tiny ones, to service little tiny blood cells. And they're going this way, this way, this way, everywhere that the blood vessels are meant. These aren't boiling anything off, because this is the anchor. The, only the blood boils. That's why space smells like steak. And that's what this is. Now, let's look a little closer at the structure of this. I'll show you muscles, I'll show you tendons, and everything. All right, if you're an anatomist or you've been following me long enough, you know exactly what this is. This is the enthesis, which is an anchor that these all these little scrappy little things anchored into a piece of flesh or bone so that this muscle could pull. And between this bone and the muscle is a tendon. And also they have little extra muscle bundles coming off from here and there so that you can do all these other things and still have the tendons running as well. Up here was where the muscle was, it's just eroded away. This is nothing more than blood and, and fleshy parts that eroded away. These straps are the tendons. These little pinchy bundles, you see them? Those are the bundles of muscle. They have little lips. <laughs> You see? But that's just one little muscle bundle that came up and breaks off. The muscles break off almost flat as a pancake. All right, what you're looking right here, this is what tendon 67P is. It's, it's this ball right here with these straps coming out attached to muscle up above. You always have tendon between bone and muscle. You have to have that little thing, and that's what these little straps were. All right, and they come right out of this ball cluster and it's been eroded a little bit so you're seeing all these these little divots in here which is where it anchored in and that's this ball right here now some of them have additional little muscle coming out of them which this one did you see how these little muscles come out of them the same thing as we just saw before can you see that yeah all right this is the same thing only it's a little bit all right, you saw all those little straps coming down to balls? Every one of these straps is going down to a ball. These are huge. This is absolutely enormous, these things. And they come down into these different bundles, and they square off, and they change into these patterns, and then the little bitty ones go down. This is the same stuff as in Devil's, I mean, um, well, Devil's Tower, yes, and also in um, Giant's Causeway, all these places. This is not from... Vulcanism. This is from giganticism. Okay, we're talking about bacteria and where they live and so forth. And here's where they live. They live in this membrane layer, which is called the interstitium. 
and the bacterias live in here to they go in and out of here breaking down food and so forth I think I showed you the thing from go call but this is really what they look like they never even knew this stuff existed and go call is also right on a cutting edge and actually seeing these things not just taking a picture of he's seeing them happen but look, look at this this is what this is right here you see that that's called mucosa that that if this eroded those black balls are stronger than anything else they would land on the bottom all this would turn into red mud and that white layer would stay there which it did this is Hunstanton Beach or Hunstanton Cliffs in the United Kingdom there's those black interstitial balls there's the mud that ran off as it eroded from the wall of flesh there's the mucosa these are what they call the Moki Marbles, same things. And guess what? They're on Mars, too. And I believe they're also on the moon. Now, these can turn into like this. They can turn into glass. They can turn into all kind of different substances. Primarily, though, they stay with the black, really... Primarily, this is what they look like. On Mars, they call them the Mars blueberries. They look basically the same, only they're more blue. But it's it's the same chemistry. So they don't normally totally erode. But there is a lot of them like this that are in different parts of the body that are not in the interstitium, which is like the really tight, tight, tight junctions. And we're going to be talking, I think I got a little bit in here about tight junction stuff. And this is where you get invaded. When you, your tight junctions go bad, you get invaded. And I mean they're tight. Nothing's supposed to go through there. It's not allowed. Okay, what I was showing you before were interstitium balls. But every anchor in your body is anchored by pretty much balls. And these balls are in bone and so forth. And they lock tendons into the bone so you can pull in the muscles and everything. Now, what I showed you before, those mats of black balls everywhere. Those are in your skin and your, your stretchy parts, parts of your body so they can stretch and come back. And all, they are on, on Mars as well. See, there's the Mars blueberries. Identical to the Moki marbles. And here's the Mars crab, right there, you see that? These are muscle sarcomeres. There's connective tissues which are still here, and then the red fleshy muscle has eroded out and collected down here at the bottom. You see here? That is an artery, and these are blood vessels servicing the tissue. That It takes a lot of red blood to run muscles. And that's what it is. And right above it is the, uh, the vein, which is the return. The arteries have all kinds of little vessels going. The veins don't. They just have primarily a tube coming back. So this is literally the Mars crab, which is an artery. And the vein's sitting right on top. And it's right down here coming out of these muscle sarcomeres. And I've shown this a million times. The sarcomeres pull in like this into these little slots. And this is the connective tissue. And the dusty red mud has run out of them. This is up on Mars. Now, you want to see the interstitium? Let me show you that. This is the killer. This is Mars Morse code. I'm not sure exactly the dimensions, but it's big. And this is the interstitium that I showed you. That where on Earth, all of these black balls were the little round black balls and moky marbles and all that. These are the same things, only the straps haven't eroded away and left just the balls, only here and there. And where has it left the balls? Where it was stretched. This is gathered skin. That's gathered skin. This is stretched open. That's what skin's supposed to do. Pull here, scrunch together there, you twist, you can do all kinds of things, and then it's supposed to come back to something similar to what you see up there. Well, what's happened is this is all eroded away because these are like bumps that stick up. This is almost like sandblasted. If you look at this carefully, that's just like sandblasted. There's not, you don't have the erosion you do on Earth. There's, not, there's no water up there to speak of. So all you get is a, an abrasive dusting continuously. And it's a red planet because this is nothing more than bloody red tissue. It's what they are. It is.